but I want to rock right now. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah, man. Shit. For the papers and fellas, Leave the quick fact of a nigga to think straight, but we live by the faith. That's right, we believe it. Man Like Nels is a next-level hip-hop artist. With British and French influences, his style is unique to the bone. We sat down with Nell to find out what his experience was like working with Dukoscopy Music and how his collaboration has helped him achieve a global audience. Well, I got into music from the age of seven um, because as a, as a child I had a focus problem. So someone said to my mother that I should start piano lessons, which is exactly what I did. And it ended up improving my focus and actually becoming a passion, which then ended up turning into a profession in my, in my later years. At time to times I found myself complacent, stuck up in a world of my imagination. All these rhymes are the fruit of my talent, exciting evaluation, brought to me by admiration, stalking Biggie Bang, Bunch, J. Cole, Michael Jackson, clearly us one, reborn reincarnation. The breakthrough into rap, actually, initially, I was known as a producer in my area because um, at the age of 16 I opened up my studio in South East London in Sidcup. Uh, so loads of artists from the area kept coming around, my name got around and blah 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 blah. Oh you need beats, go to Nels, he sort you out. And eventually uh, I realised that I could also rap, so I got into it, but because I already had a reputation as a producer, it was quite easy for other artists to start sharing my music. So essentially other artists actually put me onto their fan base which ended up creating mine. Hello boss within my lyric system. The babe, this ain't your song, this my poetic prism. Poisonous kisses only made of selfish reasons. But you know that I'm the shit this time I'm coming out your system. I'm a person from South East London, you know. Most most of the music you're about to hear is you know proper London slash English bred music. And you know, most of the clients that I had at first were grime artists that I was recording that heavily got me into grime which obviously got my knowledge up and my understanding of what it meant and what it represented for the country because uh, obviously I'm from France and I'm from Paris but I moved to London at the age of 13 so I'd never heard of grime before I got into grime throughout you know all the time that I've been here and uh I personally feel like it is an amazing thing for it to see. It's amazing for us to see that Grammy is now a top selling genre. You know, it's, it's like the forefront of British music now. And I believe that the people that are carrying it are doing a good job because it's well represented. It could be, to be fair, I feel like it's been a bit commercialized, but I don't see that as much of an issue. You know, I see it as it was needed to be done that way for the genre to then open up to more people. of university, the final assignment, um, the tutor said to us that if you'd like to witness some serious progression with your music, you need to add an international appeal to what you do. I'm blessed enough to be French, which meant that I could use that side into my music already. Uh, and I filmed some material in Paris and in London and intertwined it together, done a project called Franglish, which was kind of politically driven um, and also enabled me to reach out to an audience of different origins if you want because my music wasn't just English or not just French it was English and French together which meant that I was already reaching out to an international audience Um, so one day I just got a message from Jack telling me that um, obviously he started working for Jukoscopy and he must have played my music to some people and they really liked the vibe of it. So he told me that I should get in contact with them and I started speaking to them and eventually one of the videos went through and had half a million views, you know. So on the basis of that I realised that 
I could take my music further because you know what I've, a lot of artists and producers struggle with is exposure over their work because you can create your fan base all you want by yourself but until the time you meet someone that has the ability to market your music you might come across barriers of limitation Emotions are magical for your position. Fully passive to the topic of conversation. My imagination led me to procrastination. And all of a sudden, I came to this realization. I spent so much time up in the basement. Looking for the kind of words that make a nigga famous. With a kind of gravity by your love and curiosity, too. Take a peek into the questions, never ask these. Working with Jukoska P has now enabled me to add even more of an international factor because I've kept the same formula after graduation. You know, I went, to, um, I went to Holland in Amsterdam to film my first music video after graduation. Got a beautiful reaction from that. After that, I then went to Toronto to film two music videos that are on Jukoscopy as we speak. Uh, one of them on 50,000, the other one still growing because it came out three days ago. So I've literally kept the formula of go to country to country, city, especially capitals to capitals. And it's a formula that's been working for me and it's the one I'm going to keep up with. So. The fact that Jukoscopy has enabled me to bring more views to what I already had in mind is literally a plan coming together. Stop renewing the loop and get out of the cycle. It's all about the journey, not the point of your arrival. Make sure all the niggas in your circle fucking loyal. Even Pablo and his disciples come to rivals. These are favorite type of lyrics. Are you seeing what I'm saying? More people have gotten in touch with me. You know, I've started doing other things on the side as well. So um, it's been a blessing so far. And obviously, I'm in Geneva right now. I just filmed a music video two days ago. Uh, it took us two days to do it, we went to all the best spots and I can't wait to see the footage. The name of the track is In Your Town and it's taken from my EP Literally Lit, which is basically the concept of doing new school hip hop, but I like to call it well done, as opposed to just mumbling over tracks like Because it's been a bit of a trend, you know, for hip hop to be a bit washed down. So I really wanted to bring literacy to lit. You know, the, the, the lit factor, the new score. Oh yeah, this is lit. But I wanted to do it with proper lyrics and clever wordplay. Uh, so yeah, that, that track's been taken from there and uh, it should be out a month from now. That's the aim. What's love without lust? Doubt without trust, compliment without cuss, what's the world without us? Life only shapes in the way that you wish for Doesn't seem to work then, maybe you should wish more <laughs> Using terms and flows, competitions couldn't think of Shutting down the shows, them haters can only dream up Lyrical ability display that is best And here's a few tips that I gave to myself Forget about the limits Don't ever limit yourself to what you know So be very open to options that are presenting themselves in front of you Do some research behind it perhaps and if you feel like both parties will benefit from the affiliation, you should definitely go ahead and do it. So um, I can only say good things about Jukoscopy, man. Love with the sound, it's like bitches love clothes. Niggas love hoes and trainers love toes. Immorality became the new priority. My words are deeper than rap, this is street wise poetry. Educated youth using nothing but my lyrics. Spitting in a booth right until I reach my limits. I'm black and French, everyone thinks that I'm British. Cause I'm teaching white folks how to use the Queen's English. Make it happen in a ways you can't imagine. I make money as I go in other words I deal. Nagging habits leading to a mass expansion. It's an open invitation to the perfect world I reach. Stop renewing the loop and get out of the cycle. It's all about the journey, not the point of your arrival. Make sure all the people in your circle flipping loyal. Even Pablo and his disciples turn to rivals. These are vivid type of lyrics. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Sick with it, are you feeling what I'm spraying? Only settle for the best, forget about the more or less. Fuck a thought process that was birthed by the stress. Remember the days when you started out. So believe in yourself till they start to doubt the Fool gets wild, what's the worst explosive sports mix? No sounds and figures out a way to open doors. Complaining about the sitch means you're basically a snitch. Stop thinking like a bitch and start dealing with your shit. Sleep is for the rich, you should be standing on your feet. Life was made to be loved, every day shall be your feast, I said. <laughs> I want the rock right now. I'm man like and I came to get down. I'm not internationally known, uh, but I'm known to rock the microphone. A big thank you for the opportunity and also watch out for my EP, which is coming out real soon. It's called Literally Lit. And like I said to you, it's a concept of new school hip hop done with literacy. Remember to subscribe for celebrity interviews at Dukas Stars. Click here for the newest trends in Dukas Fashion.
just click here for brand new Hit Music Weekly. Got a question that needs to be answered? Try to do this stuff in 911.